Um, so, um, I watch an influencer called Ben Armstrong. He used to be called BitBoy Crypto. Um, I don't know him. He certainly will probably never know who I am. Um, but he seems like he's, uh, turning on a lot of people. And it's got, it's getting to the point where I kind of like, don't even want to watch him anymore. Uh, I kind of want to unsubscribe to his channel. But he's just starting to turn on people that are, you know, not even, they have no dog in the fight. But he's dragging them in the middle of all that drama. <sighs> and I probably, I would, I be honest with you, I would unsubscribe and not follow him. But the problem is, is he's very good at knowing how this market works. Now, is he a good day trader? It doesn't seem like it. But he understands the ebb and flow of the market. Like, I remember last year he was saying that toward the end of 23, Bitcoin would be, you know, at 50K. Or, or it could, it could get close to 50k. And, uh, we got a few weeks left and that's possible. And, um, so he understands and he's talking about how in 24 they would cut rates and Bitcoin would go to all time highs. And that's what they're going to do in 24. They announced it three rate cuts. So he understands the overall uh, concept of the market, how it manu how it maneuvers, how it how it operates. I mean, the you know, uh, as far as the coins he promotes, he's about like everybody else. Everybody else hit and miss. Sometimes he gets it right. Sometimes he doesn't. Uh, and he got certainly, certainly has a ton of drama to go along with it. I do not condone his drama, which is why I kind of want to quit following his channel. But he's been right when it comes to Bitcoin and how things are going to play out in the grand scheme of things. And um, that's really the only reason why I continue to watch his channel. Uh, and if... And and if his old channel did get stolen from him, then he needs to get justice. Uh, but if he was just, if he just fumbled the bag, so to speak, on his old channel, then he deserves to lose it. You know, all that'll be determined in the court of law. So uh, I don't, I don't, I don't like all that drama where he's just dragging people in the middle of it. You know, the, you know, it, it, you know, the influencers uh, out there that are just trying to grow their channel and they're not picking a side. They're trying to stay neutral and he wants to put them in the middle of it and try to make them out to look like a bad guy. And and uh, so I don't I don't like all that. I don't you know, that's. Normally, I would unsubscribe from someone like that and just walk, you know. But his accuracy on the overall market is so on on point that it's just hard to 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 overlook it because everybody else, all these other experts with all their charts and all their years of experience, they've all been wrong. And he has literally been the only one who has been right this whole time about how this market would play out. And there was something in the market that I seen uh, during the summer. I said, what if Bitcoin hits 100K by the Bitcoin halving? Because I started seeing things. I'm very observant. And now, all of a sudden, BitBoy is like, these ETFs are going to change the, the market forever. He thinks, you know, 100K, 120, 
uh, K Bitcoin by the having. And like, dude, he's seeing it now. And I was like, yeah, okay. So, and, that, and, and there's other influencers that are also starting to talk about it. So it's something that everybody is finally starting to see that I seen a couple months ago. And uh, so I'm like, yeah, I'm on the right track, you know. And um, so that it... You know, I don't condone his drama, even though I watch his channel. And it, I guess maybe I shouldn't even make a video over it, because, I mean, I'm, 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 I don't even have 2,000 subs, you know? What, who am I to even talk about it? But, uh, yeah, all that drama and, I, you know, dragging people in the middle of your fight, ain't no good in all that. And he may win the lawsuit, but he could lose the community, you know? And if you lose the community, then you lose your brand and you lose your partnerships with all these different companies that he has. I mean, there's people that's going to gravitate toward that drama, but if everybody's there, if everybody's hating on you, and they're just there to hate on you, then what kind of... Who wants that? Who wants to be the guy that everybody hates on and every video you make, they're talking trash about you? Man, that ain't no... That ain't... No. Uh, so, anyways, I mean, I hope he does win the lawsuit. I hope he takes them... Takes him to the woodshed. If they did him wrong, I hope some of them go to jail over it. But if he was just a babbling idiot that dropped the ball and they got rid of him, well, then that's on him. Yeah. So, and him dragging other people in the middle of his fight just because they're trying to build their own channels and, you know, stay neutral and... You know, it ain't their problem. It ain't their, you know, they're not the ones that got their channel stolen from them, allegedly. Yeah. So why should they have to walk on eggshells for him? And it's clear that he don't mind turning on them either. Yeah, it's real clear. He doesn't mind turning on them. So why should they bend over backwards for him? Yeah. But anyway, I don't know, it just kind of bothered me there, you know? It just bothers me, because he's so brilliant at at no understanding this market. He's very brilliant at understanding this market. Can't say that for his day trading skills or, you know, his picks on different projects, you know? He's about like everybody else. You get a handful of them right, and all the rest of them you get wrong. So... Uh, but his understanding of the overall market, man, he's brilliant. If you get past all that where he's running his mouth and showing out, you get past all that and you really listen to him, uh, it's like, man, this guy's got this market locked down. He knows where it's going, what it's doing. And, uh, yeah, that's what makes it hard to unsubscribe from his channel. I mean, really. Yeah. It is what it is.